Hello everybody, so this is a bit of an unplanned video and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to run through something that I want to capture for my own benefit whilst it's fresh in my mind and I'll just explain what I've done as well just in case it's something that you might be interested in if you're working with a PostgreSQL database with Docker and Python. So what I've done is I've created a Python script which uses Psycho PG2 and you do pip install. Make sure you do pip install Psycho PG2 dash binary, not pip install Psycho PG2. That will give you some errors. So yeah, pip install Psycho PG2 dash binary. Uh, this is a basic script which uses the <laughs> very insecure connection and local host database is called Postgres, users Postgres, password Postgres. Um, all it's doing is making a connection, the cursor, then it's selecting. Uh, you see online, let me just zoom in a bit if this is too hard to see. There we go. So what we've got is execute select star from quote. No. Quote is a database which is created. I'll show you the SQL. So this SQL file you can get on GitHub um, or you can make your own. So it's called init.sql and it's just creating a table. Nothing uh, too scary there. And then it's just inserting this dummy information or these quotes into the quote table. So that quote table is what we are querying when we do select from quote. And then we do get all data, fetch all, and then print all that print get underscore all data. So that's the Python script. That's the actual database that we're extracting the data from. And what you use or what I've used is you need to install Docker or, and then you create a file called docker compose or with a hyphen in between and the dot yml file extension and this is the important bit so you might look on the internet and just see really big yaml files and it's just a bit overwhelming um, version 3.3 the one i first found had version 3.8 and that gave me an error so i've just used 3.3 this seems to work services, keep the indentation. So I'm using quite a recent version. Alpine is a slimmed down version, lightweight. Um, restart always, environment, Postgres. So this is just setting the user and the password. So obviously you'd want to change that to something quite secure. The ports, that's just the defaults, 5432. And these are the important bits. So what it's doing is it's for persistence, it's storing the data in var slash lib postgres slash data. Um, that's on your machine so that as and when you close and reopen the container, it will read the data back from there, I believe. And then this is the important bit. So just remember that when you load this, this this docker dash entry point dash init db dot d it looks in a folder called data and it will run this no this init.sql is this file so if you want to load your own data in when you create your docker image sorry your docker container then init.sql and I'll just show you the folder structure as well again I'm not saying I'm an expert at this but I'm just capturing this for my own use and I thought I'd share it with you so um, yeah we got these here so db and then init.sql lives within there so we've got docker compose we've got init sql inside db and then just we got our db connect so which is our basic uh, python connection file so um, Obviously, that will progress and that will become more than just a, an example connection. Um, anyway, yeah, that's it. So I just wanted to capture this and it's for my own benefit, really. But if it's of interest to anybody, then get in touch. I can share the code 
and um, so on. Yes, thanks for watching. Back soon. Thanks. Bye.